Hello, I'm Father Ayapa. I'm here uh, to talk about ecology. Ecology is uh, our home. Ecology, the word comes from oikos, the Greek word, which means home. In ecology, animals and their environment. So ecology means home and its environment. So ecology is a very, very famous term today. People discuss about it, talk about it, because our environment is destroyed by humans. So far, millions of animals and species have evolved in the past 4.5 billion years of our planet Earth. And all the plants and animals, they obeyed the laws of biology loss of evolutionary biology. That is the reason why this planet is full of life. Every life should obey laws. Without laws, there is no life. That's how the Creator has intended. So we need to discover and go inside and find out the laws. And we need to fulfill them. If we don't do that, you will be out of the game of life. I think I'm afraid humans are already out of the game. We break every law in biology. We break every law in physics, geology, chemistry. Every law we have broken so far. The species before us, they never broke a single law. That is the reason why life was abundant on earth. Just imagine if humans came first in evolution, there would have been not another life evolved. We would have stopped all the biological evolution. Thank God, fortunately, humans came at last. I think Today we are talking about mass extinction. Five mass extinctions already happened. This is a sixth mass extinction. It is not induced by some meteorites or asteroids or volcanoes or tsunamis or earthquakes. No. Culture. Human culture. Human is the asteroid. Human being is the volcano. Human being is the tsunami. Is trying everything on us. So, the wisdom is obey the laws. Otherwise, we will be out of the game. In the game of life, we received all red cards. Every one of us, red card, red card, red card, red card. So, you are out of the game automatically. So, we need to go inside all of us and find the inner dimension that is the image of God and the image of God we are capable of doing good things I think the human being so far the humans as we know them today can't be a good species at all this is not homo sapiens the wise human scientists put it I don't think I I don't see any wisdom in humans only stupidity Stupidity. Everything is created for us. These mountains are... God made them to build houses. How cheap you can think. Those mountains are not meant to build houses or put roads or parking lots or build temples. In ecology they have a role to play to keep the sacred balance on planet Earth. This soil we think it is meant to bake bricks. Another stupidity. The soil is not to make bricks. That soil is full of life. Millions of microorganisms live there. It is not a commodity, it is a community. Without soil, civilization can collapse. 
humans misunderstanding is the biggest threat on planet earth vedas and upanishads the indian sacred scriptures already warn ignorance is the cause of all evil yeah ignorance i think humans so far we have proved we are the most ignorant creature ever to evolve on planet earth but as i told you we are not as bad as we portrayed past 5000 years but we are capable of good things we are smart species also the inna so far it has been hidden in the inna level but we need to bring that out and make this appearance disappear this has to die the inner dimension imago dei the image of god the conservationist the one who preaches one who shows compassion and empathy and kindness to creation he is there within all of us and we need to bring them out if at all we want to survive on planet earth god has created us beautiful only we did not follow the laws of god every commandment we break every rule we go against human beings have become a insurgent son of the universe defiant dissident refusing god's wisdom and god's instructions i think wake up wake up wake up man wake up and realize the real estate of your human nature remember your god's image thank you god bless